Hello, this is Siri and you're listening to my favorite podcast, Not Real Art. I live for this shit cause it's totally lit. Not Real Art, the podcast. Welcome back. Yep. You're talking to me or... I don't know who Siri. I'm talking to. <laughs> talking, talking to the voices in my head. Yeah, that's pretty. Welcome back. It's pretty hopeful. I try to be hopeful. Yeah. You know. Um. I don't believe in goodbyes. I believe in see you later's. <laughs> Are you gonna get all philosophical on me? <laughs> Getting something. <laughs> Wasn't it Socrates who said I drank what? <laughs> yeah, that was him. Oh my god. My I, my favorite philosophy is the kind that comes in a in a glass in a fortune cookie and a yeah, and a and a I want to always want to talk about not real art. I mean, yeah. to write the fortunes in a fortune cookie. Like I think there could be like a whole thing like <laughs> So there's a huge opportunity here. Yeah. To, you know, come up with more, you know, creative, clever, fun fortunes. Right. With cookies. Well, here's the thing that, you know, thinking about the fortune cookie, at some point, okay, someone thought, let's put a piece of paper in a cookie. Mm. Right. And don't worry, they're not going to choke and die on it. They're going to actually, they're, actually, they're not even going to eat the fucking cookie. They're probably, they, they probably don't even like the cookie. Right. But they'll get it and read this fucking fortune. Right. So I don't know how long that's been going on. Right. But then at some other point, someone said, not only do we have a fortune on there, let's add lotto numbers. Now there's numbers on there too. Right. right. So when did that happen? Right. When did it go from just words to also your lucky numbers? I don't remember numbers when I was a kid. I remember those fortunes. Yeah. So I think that's a newer a, a newer development in the in the fortune cookie. Where do you business. think it's going? Where do what do you think? What's next in the fortune cookie? There's not a lot of real estate on that little piece of paper. <laughs> no, there's not. You know, virtual virtual uh, fortune cookie. Hmm. I don't know. That's uh. It would be sad if the fortune cookie dies. Yeah, I don't think it's going anywhere. You don't think so? It's a money maker. Hmm. For the for the fortune cookie uh, industry. Yeah. There's they have lobbyists in D.C. Yeah, that's true. You know, trying to keep the the dream alive. Of course, now you know Trump's charging a a, um, a, a tariff on uh, all the fortune cookies. Oh yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah. China. Isn't that why he's over there? I thought he was having a big summit in China to to talk about the fortune cookie. That's not why he's going. I thought it was a summit to talk about Cheetos. Cause oh, he's because the, they're orange like like him, you, mm. President Cheeto face. He wants maybe he's trying to export Cheetos to China. <sighs> yeah, I, I don't know. I don't even know this. It's 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 uh, it's a bizarre world that we're living in, my friend. But it's always been bizarre. Um, I just hope we live through it. <laughs> it's, you know, for my kids' sake. Right. You know? Right. Like I, you know, I'm 47. I've had a great long life. You know, if I go tomorrow, cool. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Right. But um, but you know, for my kids' sake. Right. You know, can we just keep the peace and get along? You know what's funny is that. They keep going back. The fucking Republicans <clears throat> keep going back to this talking point about, well, look at the economy. We're doing great. Look at look at you know, there's jobs. You know, uh, the you know the the there's less. Uh, what is it? There's more jobs now than I don't know how many years or yeah, the, 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 unemplo- the unemployment rate is the lowest it's ever been. Yeah. Okay, here's my here's my version of it. This, this is what's going on. Hmm. People are so fucking tired of this fucking administration. They're like, you know what? I'm just going to fucking go to work. Fuck this shit. I don't want to be at home chilling, 
hearing all this racist bullshit coming out of Washington. I'm just going to go to work, <laughs> fucking put my head down. Right. I, I'd rather be at work than listen to this shit. So people are going back to work because yeah. they, hate, they, they hate this fucking shit so much. Because before, they were like, oh, no, there's hope. I can chill. I can chill. <laughs> I'm going to relax. Right. Because guess what? People are going to fucking hand, you know, hand me something. Yeah. Help me out. You know, yeah. they're, they're gonna well i mean to drill down a little bit deeper in what you're saying too it's like i <laughs> yeah. think people realize holy shit i'm on my own I yeah gotta get to i'm work. fucked that's what i'm saying yeah they're like we're, they're like we're fucked right i better i better get my ass into yeah. shape right. and start fucking nobody's looking out for me no one's looking out for me right when, when i retire there's no pff, i'm not gonna be able to retire i right. can't afford it i right. can't afford health care i better get my ass to work yeah so <laughs> that's what's going on it's like it's it's like a it's like an episode of scared straight right that's what's happening right so it's like you know no, we're not living in a better time. So what if unemployment is down? Your wages are still suck. You know, the biggest employer in most states is Walmart. Yeah, except in LA now there are more um, marijuana dispensaries than Starbucks. <laughs> like, I mean, talk about a booming industry, but is it that telling, right? It's like things yeah. are so bad. People have to get high. Right. You got to take drugs. Yeah. Whether it's the opioid epidemic or marijuana. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that's what uh, the comedian, what's his name? Che said the other day. Michael Che. My yeah. Shout out to Michael Che. Michael, dude, come on our show. Oh, Sit man. Sit down with us. <laughs> you are the new reigning king of stand up. <laughs> we love you. You're freaking brilliant. Didn't he say something about that? Here. Didn't he say something about, you know, now, now you, <laughs> people are. Are dealing, you know, like de- like dealings become right. legal. When did you deal? When no, did... in call. When did you do? you dealt weed when you... when you were down and out? And it was the last the fucking thing. Way. The last resort yeah. was uh, you started dealing well, shit. So here we are. Yeah. We're in an, in the age where we're dealing shit now. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> oh fuck, we're fucked. Yeah, man. Yeah. Huh. So I don't know where uh, where we're gonna end up, but. <sighs> You know, well, you know what's crazy? Hmm. Um. So okay. Talk to me, man. One. So so this this brings this is actually a. Uh, we we we're being being brought brought together as a people, okay, because of this shit, right? Mm-hmm. So my doctor, mm-hmm. okay, is your gynecologist. <laughs> he he might as well be. Yeah. <laughs> um, he is over the top gay. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like just out and proud. Just, just out and yeah, proud yeah, and yeah, loud. Yeah. And, yeah, you know. Yeah. And he's great. Mm-hmm. I mean. By the may- way, some of my favorite, the, 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 the out and proud, loud uh, uh-huh. g- gay folks yeah. are some of my most entertaining friends. Absolutely. Yeah, right, right. You know, usually I have a fucking boring ass fucking doctor that just sits there and reads a chart and. Right. And takes. Five not this guy takes five minutes and gets hey. the fuck. No, this guy not, will pull up Dr. a chair. Happy. Oh, he'll pull up the chair. He'll fucking he'll bundle f- your balls. No. <laughs> we won't go there. <laughs> but, but what about that? Yeah. What about that? I was thinking about that too. Right. Yeah. So, you know, I'm at that age now. Right. You know, yeah. where, you know, he asked me, have you had a physical in a while? That's right. And I said, Bend no. Over and cough. I said, I haven't had a physical. Yeah. He said, you should, you should get a physical. Yeah. And he's right. Yeah. You know? But he's also, you know, he's my doctor, yeah. so I trust him, and he's yeah. right. But also, I was thinking, well, I've never had that kind of physical, right? Right. So, is he gonna be my doctor that's gonna give me that physical? By the way, he knows that area very well. He pr- probably give you an exactly. Exam. That's right. That's, that's exactly you've what come, you've come to a professional. I've come to a professional right. who actually knows his shit, <laughs> literally. Yeah. So, yeah. so, you know, professionally why, and personally, like, because you know what? He's probably going to be in and out like that. He's going to, he's going to be in and be like, you know what? You're good. By the way, he's going to make it feel good. He's going to make a bad situation. Yeah. Better. Better. Right? right. Because the other fucking guys, they don't know what the fuck they're doing. You know? Right. Ouch. They're, they're not yeah. going to know to put yeah. lube or yeah. they're not going right. to know. They right. don't know what they're, they're not, they don't really know what they're looking for. Right. right. They're right. just no. kind of like, ah, yeah. okay, this is good. Yeah. And what if I have something? Right. Then they're not gonna they know. They could miss it. They could miss it. Right. I want some motherfucker that knows that fucking knows shit. Knows that part of the body. Not gonna miss anything. It's not gonna. This miss is it. a matter of life or death. You know. So you know, 
having a full blown gay doctor is probably giving you a rectal exam is probably going to be the best right medical advice I could ever get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I agree. Kid, what's his number? <laughs> I, my 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 doctor is straight as hell. I I can't. <laughs> go to your doc yeah yeah no he's he's great and by the way my wife is the one who introduced me to this doctor sure no i get that you know she didn't i didn't think she had put all these parts together yet mm-hmm, mm-hmm. When, you know she just she, she she was just like he's a good doctor yeah he's he's you know he's thorough right whatever and you're like boy is he and i'm like holy shit now you yeah. know i'm in this situation now where yeah i'm gonna have to uh hmm. go down that road yes you yes. know well we are getting to be that age yeah and men are not necessarily very um, good patients, as right. they say, in right. terms of think, you know, thinking about our health, uh, listening to our bodies, being honest with ourselves about our age and what that means. No. You know, crazy statistic. Um, at 50 years old as a man, you have a 50% chance of having prostate cancer. Okay? 50? 50%. Oh, shit. Um, well, let me rephrase that. At age 50, you have a 50% chance of getting oh, prostate okay. cancer. Okay. Sorry. At 100 years old, if you live to 100, yeah. you have a 100% <laughs> chance of getting prostate. Like, it is just a fact of life if you're a man. It's nature's way of saying, you got to fucking die, motherfucker. That's right. Like, you've been here long enough. That's right. We're Get so, our species here. is so arrogant to think that we shouldn't die or, or <clears throat> that, you know, somehow we should get out of death or be, you know, somehow transcend death. And yeah. like, no, man part of it yeah it's part of the cycle it's part of the you know and like why is that a bad thing if you really are in tune to nature and the cycle of life and the cycle of nature it's a beautiful thing yeah. sure there are ways i don't want to die sure there are ways i don't want to go out right but the going out part i actually am cool with yeah you know i'm, I'm tired i need to sleep <laughs> um <clears throat> but you know and and until i you know becoming a dad late in life of course, have stressed me out more yeah. about my mortality because, you know, now I got to figure out how to eke out another 40 years. Um, <laughs> you know, my kids are five and one. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm 47. Yeah. It'd be nice to see my kids, you know, grow up and do whatever they're going to do with their lives. But that means I got to eke out at least another 20. Yeah. You know, yeah, at so least. a solid 20 good years. I right. mean, you know that arc is, I mean, I'm talking, you're not, not going to get. A, 40 great years and then just fall off. Right. It's going to be like maybe 20, 10, 15, 20 good years. And then the next 10 or 15 are shitty, you know, cause you're right. sliding into like the nursing home. Right. Um, <laughs> you know, and, um, uh, so yeah, so I'm stressed out about this, but you know, the, the, um, the, the, the actual fact of our mortality, I'm not sure, but we, we, we don't do death well in this country. Yeah. Um, uh, and there are some miserable ways to go um, that I can, that, you know, I hope aren't in my fate. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I so um, I need a cigarette. Man, this is stressing me out. Well, you know what? I just, I, I just realized <laughs> yeah. the whole point that I brought up my gay doctor was because we were talking about Trump. Okay. And my doctor just. Voted. Oh, oh, he he hates Trump. Yeah, okay. And he's and, and he was just we have conversations right about how Trump hates both of us. Yeah. Cuz he's gay. Right. And cuz I'm Mexican. Right. So guess what? We're brothers. Yeah. So we're, we're all coming together. Yeah, bringing it together. Bringing right. it together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was the whole point of that story yeah, by the way. Well, it wasn't about It wasn't about rectal exams. It wasn't about rectal exams from gay doctors. really dwelled on the rectal I know, I just part. you know, kind of went off on a tangent there a little bit, you know. It's, it's uh it's a scary thing when you think about it. Yeah, well, you know, it's um, I think complacency and, and apathy. Well, complacency breeds apathy. Yeah. Right. And, um, you know, we've been in a well, certainly in the last eight years under Obama. Um, uh, many of us were feeling like, OK, you know, it's a different world now. We're good. You know, like. Like everything is bright and, you know, maybe our next president will be a female. Maybe our next president will be, you know, some, something else that's amazing, you know? Yeah. Um, but we didn't realize that, you know, no, actually, um, if you don't show up and vote, if you don't activate, if you don't organize, if you don't really make the democracy of our country what 
in your own image and what you want, right. shit can happen. Yeah. And, you know, Trump's election was a wake-up call, you know, that yeah. uh, you don't get what you deserve. You know, you get what you create and um, in a democracy. And, um, you know, and, it, you know, look, natural disasters bring people together, mm -hmm. to your point, right? Yeah. Earthquake. Exactly. Or hurricane or whatever. This is a political disaster yeah. that is bringing um, those of us who are liberal, pluralist, democratic, human, human. Thank you. Let's just put that, you know, <laughs> like I just, you know, you and I've talked about this before, like why it has to be a zero sum game. Right. You know? Right. I mean, I guarantee you if a fucking, or not if, when an alien spaceship <laughs> comes and lands and, yeah, the, the 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 alien beings, uh, d d d you know, deplane. Right. You know, we're gonna be a very unified uh, race. You know, the human race. You know. All you gotta do is watch when Mars attacks. Oh my god, I love that movie. That's it. It's so good. It's brilliant. It's so good. <laughs> I want to see it right now. Yeah. I think. <laughs> you have a TV. Yeah. I think we should. Let's do it. You know what? Yeah. Let's do that. Let's go see that movie right now. <laughs> yeah, we'll that. report back. For sure. All right. We're going to go do that. We're out of time. All right. Later. Peace. Peace.